Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is like part two of me painting this this uh, wood canvas. Um, the other one I did yesterday, but um, I put it up. So if you're interested in seeing the first part, I'll link it at the end. It's probably the video before this, but all I have here is some, um, a wood square that I painted over that I wasn't loving. And I have some multi-surface paints that I am just painting and doing. I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do with her. Uh, so just recap, I drew her out, painted her uh, face and then the hair. I used the uh, bright pink multi-surface and it just didn't do it for me. It wasn't as opaque as I wanted. That's what you could see under here. So then I took just regular multi-surface pink. This is a neon um, color and it's not, you can see it's neon, it's gorgeous, but it's just not doing it for me either. So then I mixed it with some berry wine and now I'm digging it and that's where we are. So I have my brushes and... I am just doing the rest of the hair in this color and just, you know, there's nothing wrong with repurposing your canvases or starting over. And I do that quite a bit. Uh, so I'm going to dip into the pink and then I dip into this and then I'm just going to town and I mix them. And because the wood is textured underneath, um, and sometimes you're going to have to wet your brush to just kind of get it moving. And it picks up, and I love it, the texture. Because I don't know if I'm going to, like, put black over this to, like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going in. I mean, look at that. How cool. Oh, autofocus was on and I hate autofocus. Yeah. You can see I have a dark background there, like a red. I'm going to have to change, which I probably should have done before I do all this, but that's all right. I'm just throwing this down. I hope you guys are having a good day. I love just, this is just stuff I do. I'm just randomly showing you guys what I do. <laughs> this is it. When I'm not doing any recording or whatever, I just sit and paint. And try things out and play and, you know. Water helps thin it out. You could use glazing medium as well, um, but I didn't just in case anybody wants to do anything like this and they don't have glazing medium, you don't have to uh, definitely have it. You can just use a little water to thin it out. Sometimes paint gets old and, or maybe you're like me and you accidentally uh, leave the lid off all night <laughs> and you need something in there to kind of get it going again and you don't have acrylic medium. Okay. So I'm going to leave this layer dry. That's all this is, is a layer. You can see, you know, where it is and where that top is. And then I'm going to hit it with my heat gun real quick, just to get a little bit of that out of there, the moisture. And I'm going to work on the face. And remember, you guys, you know, so many of you are just starting out and that kind of thing. And you don't have to work on a canvas or wood uh, or anything like that. You can use a piece of printer paper. Yes, it's going to get wet and you got to watch, you know, that you don't oversaturate it. So back in the day, I would glue them together. I would take like three pieces of uh, what's it called, uh, printer paper, and just take my glue stick and glue them together to have a little bit more of a structure to work with. But you can do that. You can use your kids, 
you know, go to the dollar store. They have, they call them mixed media pads, but I mean, you get like 10 sheets or something, but so what? Just sit and draw. It doesn't matter. Sit and do this kind of stuff. Use your hair dryer to dry. It doesn't, you don't have to have everything fancy. The point is, is just, just do it. You know what I mean? Just do it. So now I'm going to, what am I going to do? Do I want to do more charcoal? What color do I want to give her eyes? I have blue sitting here. Let's do, uh, let's do green. <laughs> I have blue sitting here. Let's do some green. This is just some Liquitex that's old. You can tell I love it. It's one of my favorite uh, colors in all brands. It's called Brilliant Yellow Green, and it is brilliant, and I love it. So I'm going to take a paintbrush and just do some squeezing. And where's my pencil? Let's see if this will work. Just want to put in my eyeball so I know where I'm working very lightly. Uh, that's the chair, not me. Here, wait, ready? I don't know if you can hear it. I've had people ask, like, you know, get upset over that. I'm like, it's my chair. I would never do that because I don't do that. <laughs> All right, so this eye's a little misshapen. So we're going to work with that. But I'm happy that way. But it's this thing that I don't know what the heck I was doing. See, this is why you want your background dry, because I'm going to touch it and it's going to lift up, which, whatever. I'm just going to kind of close this eye up a little bit. And maybe you can see, see how it makes it better, because I don't know what the heck I was doing. So now I'm just going in. That was just a regular pencil. And I'm just going to go in and do like a circle. the best of my ability because I'm going to go on the outside with a darker color so and a lighter color and some gold and of course as always all the there, I have links below my uh, in my description below my name where if you want these paints or Anything that I use, you know, I try to do my best to link it down below as well as like my vlog thing I'm using, which I absolutely love and those kind of things. So for the lips, while that dries, I think I'm going to, do I want to go like red? Do I want to go, what do I want? What do I want? Hmm. What is this? No, I don't want that. Uh, let's try this. Yeah. Let's see, this is a little darker. This is citrus green, which kind of looks like the same color I just used. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Apple red. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit because I want a deep red. Like, maybe I'll do this color dark scarlet. That's more that I want, like that. You see what I'm saying? And this is uh, Americana Multi-Surface Satin. I'm all over the place today using all the paints. And I don't care. I'm just playing. Like I said, I'm not doing anything specific. Mm -mm -mm. I have to get a smaller brush to get the bumps in the lips. She's going to have big lips today. Quit playing, Kel. Quit playing. 
I'm okay with that. I just got to, I'll just have to get a small brush to kind of like, you know, fix them up a little bit. That's all. That's all. That's all. I'm not going to worry about that too much because I will fix it. Now, I'm going to get into the eyes and all. Do I want to get my color pencils out because I want to frame everything out? Maybe I do. Colors of my colored pencils just to kind of. I'm going to grab my um, Sienna Brown just to turn her this way a little bit. And I just want to, I don't know if you're going to be able to, how much you're going to be able to see. I see I'm in shadow, but. Add the news. I like that. I'm gonna lightly bring down the bridge of her nose. Could have been curved a little bit more, but did any of you guys watch Animal Kingdom? Just curiosity. Curiosity. All right, so now I'm gonna and I like I'm gonna go in and use my acrylic paint and gesso again and like erase things that I don't want. Uh do you know what I mean before I really start to get into to much? bit wet right there. Now it would have been cool if I put, which too late, and it was not too late, I could do it, I could have crackled her hair and then did like a lighter pink on top and that crackle will come through. Mm. That would have been fun. But I didn't. I could. Maybe I will. Who knows? All right, so I'm gonna go over this eyeball a little bit and bring this down to cut that off a little bit. Do that. And if you're like me and you I'm going to, have to cut these eyes a little bit too. Um, you do get paint on you, or you can't wait rather, you know, because I'm sitting here and some of it's getting on my arm. Just make sure you pay mind. So when you go to lay your hand on her face, I've done that many times on video as well <laughs> because I'm just that person. Okay. So, yeah, so can you see how I kind of changed the eyes a little bit just by, um, using my color it's just a color pencil you can use your crayola color pencil this is a prisma color now let me tell you something i love prisma colors i've loved prisma colors from way back in the day um when i took a class from suzy blue uh which this was like 2009 2008 i mean it was just when she started and she excuse me she introduced me to Prismacolor pencils and I've been hooked ever since. They just work for me. Um, I do have some Faber-Castells and that kind of thing and those are enjoyable as well, but these are my favorite. And the reason I'm telling you is because if you go to like AC Moore or Michaels, they sell them open stock. So this is Sienna Brown, uh, but any brown that you pick and you can see, you can just outline and change your face a little bit and it's not that big a deal. Um, you know, it just helps you firm everything up. Also, you can color and shade the face and so many uh, things. So there's certain ones that I love. Um, the cream, the white, the brown, some of the browns. 
I usually pick a dark green. Be I'm cleaning my glasses, sorry. A dark green because I always do green eyes because Emily, she has hazel eyes. I've always done that, but I've done other colors. Pick a color, um, you know, and it just helps you out a little bit. You don't need a million of them, but I do love them. So, all right, so that is that. And before I go ahead, I'm going to probably wait and then uh, use my face color to fix that. This eye's okay though. So I'm going to turn it this way and go in with my eyelid line. And I'll probably do it here too, just so I know where it's going to be. Like that. And then I can go and fix that and finish that. And I'll turn her here. And I want to have her chin you know, obviously like halfway of her lips and then bring it up. See how I just kind of want to darken it a little bit, not make her have a beard. And I'll go over that with paint a little bit or whatever, and I can bring her hair down a little bit more if I want, but just give her face like this needs to be, that's all right. I can bring the hair a little bit more in like straight just to kind of cut that a little bit. See how it helps that a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to take just my skin tone that I'm using the light flush. Oh my God, how many videos am I going to make of me sitting here doing this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't realize how long it was taking. And I'm going to just put a little bit on here and go over that and then just kind of, I'm going to say buff it in a little bit, you know, so it kind of blends. No eyebrows, Marilyn Manson. I don't have to do eyebrows. Maybe I won't because I just don't know. And I'm going to do the same thing under here and then kind of buff it out a little bit. Just like that. And where else do I want to do it? Right here. Up a little bit. You can use gesso too. I don't have any gesso in here right now, but whatever you have. I just didn't feel like mixing it all. I'm going to put stuff in her hair probably. I don't know what I'm going to do. And you'll get it in the hair and you'll just have to either wipe it off, wet your brush or paint over it when you go to paint. Okay. And I'll go firm this up just a little bit. Tighten it up, whatever. Yeah. And then just fluff it out. Okay. And remember, we're going to put more hair. And I'll just go on the nose a little bit here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that hair and cut that off, and then I'm going to leave this dry. 
before I come in with any more for painting or shading because I'm gonna if I keep doing it it's just gonna I'm gonna screw everything up so I'm gonna leave everything dry touch up the lips a little bit And that one could my dogs are starting to get antsy that's why I'm like trying to be quick without I mean I, there's nothing I can do about it they're just being antsy it's the same dance every day with these animals they could be out 20 times they just want to go out and play which is fine but not right this second since I just had them out before I started. All right, so I'm gonna bring this here. And then I'll just go in with for the lips and paint it, you know, go back over the red, but I'll kind of know where I'm at. Cause that's a little bit too much of a Cupid's bow. Okay. All right, but I'm okay with that for now because like I said, I can come back and fix those lips up and do that kind of thing. Oh, one more thing. I want this to be a little. Cut. Just a little bit. Like I said, not a big deal. I can come back and do more. I don't know even know if you guys even want to see me finish this because it's it's just like the series of like all of a sudden I started painting and it became a thing of me just doing it, doing it. Um so the hair. So I'm not digging that little like boop right there. Although her ear could be there, but I, I don't really I don't want to boop. So I'm gonna go in with um, not dark scarlet. Thank God I looked the berry wine and I'm going to shake it again. Come on, baby. And I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to cut it. I don't want that there. And then just blend it out until I. Yeah, I like that better. And I can clean it up with some water. Okay. So that is there. I'm going to dry it a minute. My dog's in there moaning. He's so mad. I want to get some water. Get off of there. I am going to clear gesso this. I love clear gesso. I don't know if Plaid has clear gesso. I have to look into that. Now look what I did. 
I touched my heat gun because I'm all excited about clear gesso. I love clear gesso. But it's going to also act as an eraser for me. So once this is dry, I'm going to take... Oh, I don't have much of it left. This is an old bottle. I used this. Listen how empty it is. I used this when I was downstairs. I mean, videos how long ago? Not downstairs. I think I was in the big bedroom up here. I mean, I'm talking eons. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I also have black. Um, but when this is dry, I'm going to, I don't want to do it now because I'll smear. I don't want to put the color on the face. I wonder if this is dry enough. It might be dry enough. Um, I'm going to clear coat it and leave it dry. And what that's going to do, it's going to give me, although I could use the Mod Podge matte, I wonder. I'm not going to do it on this, but I'm going to um, clear coat it with the clear gesso. Leave it dry and it's going to let me work on top of all of this. So I can kind of, you see how I have like the, I kind of cleaned out a little bit of that red and you can see a little bit of it smeared and that kind of thing. It's going to give me the ability to work on top of it. I still see I have that on there too and, and build. So I'm excited for that. You get off. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that'll be better. So yeah, so then I can work on top of it and build light more layers. So that is what I'm going to do. But this is going to be all for this. You just kind of sat and listened to me ramble. I don't know how enjoyable that is. But I'll be back after um, maybe once I just so and all and then I will uh, show you, you know, work on it. But let me show you real quick. No, I'm not going to do it yet. I was going to start sanding some of this off so you can see some of that green underneath because that's what I'm going for, for that old sandy look. Um, but I might wait until I'm all done with that. We'll see. So yeah, so as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And hey, if you're hanging in with me, thank you. I don't know why, but uh, enjoying the ride because this is, like I said, what I would be doing with music singing. Instead, I'm sitting here uh, humming to myself and talking to you guys. So I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.